Natalie, thank you. Well, new data is showing that one in every five people who had COVID-19 is still suffering from lingering symptoms, a phenomenon more commonly known as long COVID. As doctors try to identify the cause, one Florida medical clinic is having success with treatments using hyperbaric chambers, old technology, but with new scientific protocol that is pushing the body to actually fix itself. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser explains how it works. I didn't know what was happening to me. For two years. I wasn't really aware of where I was in time and space. Yeah. Danielle Gillen was living the nightmare. Uh, short term memory loss, getting lost in my house. Of long COVID. It was hard for me to walk. It was hard for me to talk. I stuttered. I couldn't see. Gillen's symptoms got so bad, she went to an emergency room thinking she was having a heart attack. It's there she learned about the Aviv Clinic in the villages. If it weren't for that, like for this complete process, I don't know. The clinic is one of three in the world using multi-patient hyperbaric chambers to treat long COVID with a specialized protocol that regulates oxygen levels to help the body fix itself. By doing this protocol, we can actually trigger new neuronal stem cell growth, new brain cells, and more importantly, we have the technology to measure it. Dr. Mohammed El Amir, who heads the Aviv Clinic, explains how it works. And now we're going into the temporal lobes. First, by looking at images of the brain, they can determine which areas have been affected by long COVID. So we can actually see, hey, this part of the frontal lobe, for example, that got hit by the virus, it is not functioning as well. And if parts of your brain aren't functioning as well, that could lead to brain fog or memory problems, attention issues, processing speed and slowing. So we have objective ways to now measure that. And with all of our patients, we're able to do that. That's me. Patients are then given a series of targeted brain exercises to perform during their treatment in the hyperbaric chamber, 40 sessions over the course of two months. Patient number one could have memory exercises. Patient number two can have attention exercises. Patient number three might have issues with processing speed, so they'll do games to really help improve it and trigger those parts of the brain that need the help. While I'm playing that Brain HQ, my brain's saying, feed me, feed me, feed me, and then you're slowly but surely rebuilding all those neurological connections. What happens in the hyperbaric chamber then takes advantage of a scientific breakthrough that garnered the Nobel Prize for Physiology in 2019. That is the key to this protocol. In 2019, the Nobel Prize was awarded for a molecule called hypoxia-induced factor. And this factor gets released when the body senses a low oxygen state. Because in low oxygen, the, cell know, the body knows my cells will die. So I need to replace them. I need to make new stem cells. I need to grow new blood vessels to help usher blood to the organs that might be starving. During the treatment, pressure in the hyperbaric chamber is increased by two atmospheres. Patients inside breathe an air mixture with oxygen levels 17 times higher than normal. They then remove their masks at specific intervals to breathe normal air. But that sudden fluctuation fools the brain into thinking it's suffocating. That, a pair of studies showed, triggers something called neurogenesis, a defense mechanism that spurs the production of new vessels and stem cells. The body has amazing ways to help heal itself, but we need to convince it to do it. And to trigger it, we need to trick it, thinking it's in a low oxygen state, to go into a repair mode. It's all over. Those customized brain exercises then help the body direct that new cell growth where it's needed the most. This is huge. This is the future. We want to address the causes of diseases, not just treating symptoms. So we have the technology to do that. And what better way but to use the body's own mechanisms to heal and regenerate its own cells. And I think the biggest thing was my quality of life overall. That's improved substantially. For long COVID patients like Danielle, it's been life changing. For sure. Brain scans show areas that had been damaged are functioning again. I'm not just recovering now, I'm rebuilding. And like, it's like the best place to be. She's regained her memory, her mobility, but most importantly, she says, her children have their mom back. Experiencing their loss was the greatest loss. And now all my wins around what we get to do together and things that we have planned for the future, it's like, I'm ready. What better than making your own body have its own stem cells? 
and they'll go to the area of need. This is the future to repair everything. Well, currently, the hyperbaric treatments are not covered by insurance, and the whole procedure can cost tens of thousands of dollars. But the Aviv Clinic says it works with people who think they could benefit. Meanwhile, they continue to publish results and findings with the goal of getting the procedure covered by insurance plans. And these same hyperbaric chambers are also being used to treat people who have suffered traumatic brain injuries and strokes as well.